Okay, okay, let's talk about podcasting. Let's talk about podcasting. What does make podcasting so terrible? Hello and welcome to the Barnsley Means Business Podcast with Craig, Mr. Business. Everybody's got a podcast. It doesn't matter who it is, how long they've been running a business, whether they don't run a business or not, or whatever. Everybody's got a podcast. The only podcast for Barnsley people in the five surrounding towns for 25.5 year old men who have one eyebrow running um, businesses. Podcasting is a great way to advertise your services, market your business, and put across your expertise if you're doing it correctly. It's the fake voices, it's the fake intros, you know, those jingly intros. And the majority of the podcasts I see, well, you know what I'm going to say, they're a bit shit. So if you're ready to share your story from the Barnsley business community and the Barnsley business five surrounding towns and you only have one eyebrow, this is the podcast for you. Here is the end shittening. Actually, no, this is the opposite of the end shittening formula. It's the less shittening formula. Let's talk about that. Podcasting is an inherently good way to market your business. It's a way that allows you to get across your expertise in your own unique way, but only if you are doing it in your own unique way. If you're doing it like some kind of jumped up Stephen Bartlett wannabe, then it ain't getting it across in your own way, is it? It's just... As I said at the top, the Genius Division podcast. It's not. It's, it's not the Genius Division podcast, but it's it's brought to you by the Genius Division podcast. The, the Genius Division people. I I don't work there. I mean, I'm getting bored just explaining it. So you have to learn to do podcasting in your way, not my way, not Stephen Bartlett's way, not Joe Rogan's way. Your way, and that means. You have to get across your personality. You have to get over the fact that you want to be some kind of celebrity podcaster and just be yourself in audio. I know that that's that's easier said than done. That's actually quite hard for quite a lot of people, but it's the only way that you're going to do a podcast that's actually going to work that isn't rubbish. Because let's remember, the niches are in the riches. <laughs> The majority of the way that I see people doing podcasts is that they do the interview format. Now, an interview format is, in and of itself, not a bad way to do a podcast, but it isn't the only way to do a podcast. I suggest, if you're going to do a podcast and it's to market your business, do it so you're getting across your expertise. If you're interviewing somebody else, some knobhead from some other country, you're not necessarily going to be getting across your expertise because you're just going to be asking them, pointless interview questions, aren't you? And also, if you are doing an interview podcast, don't ask pointless interview questions. Tell me, how did your business journey start in Barnsley with one eyebrow? You're not on an apprentice interview task. You're not interviewing somebody for a job. You're not asking them, well, if you could be an animal, what animal would you be? Those kind of things don't work either. So if you're going to do a podcast, make sure you show your bloody expertise. Make it about you. Don't make it about the guests. Great. The next thing about podcasting, which I absolutely love, and it's unique to the medium of podcasting, is it allows you to become an expert inside somebody's ear. Right inside somebody's ear. Yeah. There's no other medium like that. No other medium. Even video doesn't allow that. Video is, whilst it's great to, to put across your personality and how you look and how you talk and what you do and your expertise, it doesn't have the power of podcasting where somebody is probably, I don't know, washing the dishes or they're going for a walk or something like that. That's usually what people do with podcasting. So often, if you do podcasting the right way, you're going to be the only voice in their ear, which is obviously powerful, incredibly powerful. But only, again, if you do a podcasting right. I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> if you do podcasting wrong, and it's not you that's in your ear, it's this fake, 
business professional personality that you're putting on, there's not much point, is there? Excellent. And then finally, the thing that is the most important thing, the most important thing. I'm going to say it one more time. The most important thing. Podcasting allows you to show your personality. It allows you to show your true self. Video allows you the same advantage, but I think podcasting is actually even closer because you're in somebody's ear, usually private with them. They're, they'll be, like I said, washing the dishes or going for a walk or something like that. You are alone with that person and you're sharing your expertise. Podcasting is very unique to that. So why would you put on the fake, huel glugging idiot persona if you want to get people to listen to your advice. Authentic stories from the Barnsley business community to the people who have moved from the Barnsley business community. So that's why you're probably doing podcasting wrong. I mean, you, you are doing podcasting wrong. To the Sheffield community who used to be 25.5, who are now 27, uh, 25 point. Show your expertise, potentially forget about the interview format, become an expert by making sure you're sharing your expertise. Seven, uh, five and have two eyebrows instead of one. And then finally, the most important, please show your personality in your podcasting. Be you. Thank you so much for listening once again and tune in next week for the Barnsley Business Community, Barnsley Business Podcast for the Barnsley... I mean, seriously, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it how many people just don't bother being themselves. It's, it's stupid. This is the only place where you can get Barnsley Business information and Barnsley Business Community advice and about the five surrounding towns if you only have one eyebrow. Thank you.